you already know, it's your boy, the Maniac. And I'm here, one-fourth of 15 Rounds of Boxing Podcast, along with the other co-host, my man, Uno, you yes, know. Sir, you're ready. And of course, the heavyweight champion of the world, Mo. Bing, Today, guys, we got a special guest. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to let him introduce himself and let us know where we at. What's up, y'all? It's Ofacio, the sniper, Falcon Jr. Um, we're at Underdog Boxing and Fitness Club over at East Tremont Avenue. Um, yeah. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's good, man? What's good, good bro? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. How you doing, bro? Yeah. He's a bad man, man. He's a bad man. Also, let's shout out to Bro X. I mean, X, obviously, Mr. Mick, the host, Fight Night X in here, but we holding him down, holding it down for him. And of course, James behind the lens, 40 Central. James behind the lens. Yeah. So we here at Underdog Gym with a a dog out here. I hear your dog in the ring. Yes, sir. So uh, what what weight class? I fight uh, Super Featherweight, 130. Okay, all right, all right. And you just had a fight recently, uh, not too long ago. Yeah, I fought um, June 24th on Puerto Rican Day. Okay. Edgar Belanga's card. Okay. Um, yeah. Ooh, nice. MSG. How'd that go? It went good. It was just a crazy experience, bro. Um, I they they let me know Monday and I fought Saturday. Oh, okay. Short notice. Yeah, okay. Short notice. Six, five days, five yeah, days, hell yeah. And that fight was that under the zone? It was on, on the zone. Yep, under the All zone. Right. Yes, sir. Did you did you? Coordinate that with Eddie Hearn. That was how. How did you get that fight? So my manager. So my manager hit me up. And What's he was like, his name? My manager's no man. Um, go manager. Shout out to Go Management. Um, my manager texted me. He was like, well, he called us. He was like, yo, I got an opportunity for you to fight at MSG. Um, you want it? And I called my pops. I called my mother. You know, I'm always associated with my family uh-huh. and my team. And I was like, yo, what do y'all think? They said, yeah, let's do it. So we went ahead and did that. All right. All right. <clears throat> That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Listen, he, victorious on the sixth, they know this, man. So boxers. Three. Four, four, three. three. Days. Four, Kanye, four, 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 yeah. Four, 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 yeah. Always be prepared. And hold on, we're gonna get y'all. This the man behind the scene who's getting him right. Pops. Now come in, come. Pops. Get in here. Come on, Pops. You already yeah. walked in, the camera's already on. Come, come on. on. Yeah. Come on, come on. This is the man that's getting him right. Underdog Jam, East Street. I like a lot of Come other trainers. He don't want to take no spotlight away from the fighter. You know what I mean? So you got to respect him. Definitely, definitely. Listen, when he gets you right, come in here, man. Underdog Jam, you ain't got to be a, a boxing pro. You ain't got to be a fighter. You can be a fighter. Come in here, man. Let's go. 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 All I care about is winning. That's, That's it. it. That's it. You heard what you said. W, yo. The W matters. We, we know you from the Bronx, right? Born and raised, of course. So, how did you get into boxing? Who introduced you to boxing? How this became your passion? Um, so, my father used to compete. when He, he used to be an amateur. Um, I remember his, the first ever fight I went to was when he fought in the Golden Gloves. You can actually search that up on Google. Um, my mother brought me to it. It was me, my mother, my father's good friend. It was me, my mother, my father's good friend. Um, his name is Danny. Um, they took me to the fight. And I just fell in love with it ever since then. Then my father went away. When he came back, I was like 12 years old, 13. And then I was like, yo, I want to box. I want to box. I kept asking him. And um, he never brought me to the gym. They used, my mother never wanted me boxing. He was like, yo, he knew what it took. He never wanted me to do it. So I was like, you know what? One day I was like, yo, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go do it by myself. I'm 13 years old, man. <laughs> so he was like, you know what, you want to do it? All right. So he brought me to a gym called um, Worldwide Boxing Gym. Okay. You ever heard of that? It was like Pops Boxing Club. Yeah, sounds familiar. Um, and I walked in and they made me spar the first day. Dang. Mm. And I sparred some dude who had a bunch of fights, a Mexican kid. Mm. And I ended up beating him up. Wow. And they told me to stay there and work, I stood work. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I stood in the gym and ever since then, bro, I'm here. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And definitely representing the BX, you can hear the hunger. You can hear the yeah. passion. You know what I'm saying? So now, June 24th, victorious on the zone. Um, <clears throat> moving forward, what, what, what y'all got planned or what's your next steps? What you thinking of doing? Just keep stepping up, bro. Mm-hmm. Whatever's next, you know, my team, my father, myself. Because, mm-hmm. you know, there's more than just fighting people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the background that people don't see. It's business that people don't see. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody wants us to fight everybody, but never speak a number when the number matters to us fighters. So 
that's mainly what it is, bro. Just taking the right opportunities for the, at the right time and just being prepared for whenever that comes about, like my last fight. Um, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So when we talk about, I'm glad you brought that up, right? Because that's important. The back, the back stuff that the fans don't see, right? So when we talk about the back stuff, what's kind of the things, the shady stuff that happens in the back door so that the fans that don't see that know? It's more than just fighting a guy. You got to worry about your purse, for example. The purse is the money that you make during the fights. Um, a side and B side matters. Right now, when you're early in your career, B side gets you know the the bigger of the bunch. But later on, it's more A side gets the most, and who sells more tickets? If you're not selling tickets, are you a draw? A lot of that stuff matters in the sport of boxing. So I feel like that plays a big part in fighting who we're fighting. Okay. So has it been since you became pro? Has there been certain things that you learned as you came along that you were kind of shocked about? And if so, like what were those things that? that had, like, made you, like, realize, like, wow, this is a totally different aspect from what I expected. As an amateur, you know, everything's right in front of you. You wrap your hands in front of people. You warm up in front of everybody. You go fight a random guy. And the pros is more or less, like, you prepare for this one dude. You guys got six to eight weeks to prepare to each other. Six, eight, 12 weeks to prepare for each other. And also, it's like, yo, they could cheat. Like, if you go other places in foreign countries, they could cheat. Um, the weight cut matters. The way you, back then, it didn't matter. Now, if you cut weight wrong, You'll feel it. You're fighting more than just three rounds, um, two minutes or three minutes. It's not 10 ounce gloves, it's eight ounce gloves. The little mistakes you do matter. So that's what really surprised me about professional boxing. Okay, that's what's up. So now as far as you talking about the amateurs, you talking about the, the steps you're about to take, right? What would be a short term goal? Like what, in, in uh, three, three to five months, how many fights would you like to be involved in? Or, or what type of fights would you like to be involved in? What what opportunities do you see yourself having? My overall short-term goal, it always has been just win. Mm -hmm. Just continue winning, continue stepping up slowly, you know, taking my time. I'm 23 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe in, I, I do believe I have all the talent in the world. Mm -hmm. I just believe in also a process, you know what I'm saying? You can't jump from here to there thinking, oh, you're, you're skipping a bunch of steps. So I, I like taking my steps whenever they, as, as they come. Um, and just keep winning. That's my short-term goal. Just keep winning. Yeah. So, I love, first of all, the attitude. I love it. You're humble, but you also understand what's going to take. And that alone, the attitude, the mindset is going to take you far. Because especially in this sport, right, would you agree the mental part? You can have all the skills in the world, right? But if you're not here mentally... Things could go sideways, right? But now that we know amateur, we know you pro, we 10 and 0, six knockouts. Now, I want to hear some gym stories, right? Because I'm pretty sure you spar with a lot of elite fighters. Gym, like, who you sparred with? Who did you see get cooked? You don't have to say it on camera. You can let us know. But I know you've seen some stuff, Ofacio. Let us know. And have you ever, you know, it's fine. You ever got cooked in sparring? Because it happens. It's like in practice, you know. Sometimes you get dunked on, you know. So talk to me. You know, there's a back yelling at me. All right, um, you're trying to set me up. That's what it is, bro. I'm not even lying. You're trying to set me up. Nah, but look. So I'll say this, though. I, I've been in there with a lot of great guys. Um, like who? I've been, in there with, I've been in there with Devin Haney when I was, like, that was years ago, like, when I was 17. With Hitchens, when he just falls to Peta. Um, Duke Mecca, I've done sparred. Richard Comey. I sparred a lot of good guys. Names. Um, yeah. Um, and I take a lot from all of them. They're all amazing fighters, bro. Um, have I ever seen anybody get their ass be in the gym? I don't know. <laughs> you don't speak about that. Have you ever? Respectfully. Yeah, respectfully. yeah. You respectfully, doing? you don't speak about, you know, yeah, sparring. Yeah, yeah, I never yeah, done yeah. that. I don't even post sparring. If you look at my page, I don't even do none of that. As, I feel like that's corny. I believe in that. Yeah. What happens in the gym here does not happen in a fight. Correct. Um, you can spar somebody, beat them up, and go fight them and just get your ass whooped. Your ass whooped. So that's right. how it happens all the time. So I, I believe in here. You're learning out there. It's where it matters. Okay. Um, have I ever got cooked and sparring before? Yeah. Maybe when I first began, like, I've never gotten that. At this point in my career, I've never, I don't get my ass beat. It's either good work, and I'm giving, we're getting good work from each uh, other. I like that. Or, yeah. or um, 
I'm just beating the shit out of you. One of the two's happening. Exactly. Like, either, either or, or, either or, either or, or word. Only two options. Word. Give him some good work or you get your ass Cause out. Cause it's like the only way you can beat my ass is if I don't punch it. I'm gonna punch, bro. Okay. So, word. Right, my mom told me not to stay hit. Word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Word. Right, I like that. That was a good answer. So with that, um, so the weight class that you fight at, you want to reiterate for the people, what weight class do you win again? I fight at super featherweight, 130. 130. That's a heavy class. Hell yeah. There's a lot of great fighters. That's a there. that's a very interesting class. Navarrete. Navarrete, you know. There's a lot. It's a, it's a, a lot of sharks. It's a a lot of sharks it's in the water. Iron shark and iron. So, a time frame. Let's just say your dream match. Who would you want to go toe to toe with in that weight class? You want to know something funny? I was talking about this this morning. Mm. I talk. I was, I've been talking about this right. What I'm about to tell y'all for like two weeks. And I feel like after watching that Hitchens fight with Zepeda, how that was his like breakout fight, like how that made him. Yeah. Well, not made him, but it made him. It got him. It got him. Yeah. Like yeah. It, yeah. They, he, yeah. now he got his respect. Right. I feel like my fight is gonna be with um, Oscar Valdez. Ooh, I like yeah, that. so talk I've been I've been talking about that. Talk. Uh, I like that. Yeah. And we know. Valdez is a beast. Yeah, he's a beast. That guy's a monster. No, no. You can't take none of everything he's done from back then till now. You gotta respect him. He's an amazing fighter. Do I just feel like by the time I'm 25, I'll be ready. Okay. Hell yeah. Do you know Valdez personally? Never met him. Never met him. Never met him. Oh, all right. No. That's what's up. That's what's up. So also, I like, see you, you mentioned your family, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm big on that, right? Absolutely. Um. Do you, are you married? You have kids? What's, what's your situation? I'm not married. I don't have no kids. I do have a girl though. Okay. Uh, girl. All right. Good. Sorry, ladies. Yo, yeah. young fella. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favorite vocab words. Stay unencumbered, man. You know what <laughs> I mean? No obligations right now except for this passion that you got going on. Absolutely. Good. Shout to the wifey. You know, I'm not trying to. Yeah. But listen, you know you with a star here. You know you with somebody that's working on some. So holding down. Now, let me tell you something, though, bro. I've been with her since high school. Okay. Wow. Oh, so she know what it is. No, you like, like, not only that, like, when I when it's time for me to train, like, for example, I never brought her to the gym. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she know okay. when I'm in the gym and I'm working, that's off limits. Uh -huh. When I'm that's focused, it's off limits. I don't care if it's six, eight, 12 weeks, don't matter. But that's she understands, bro. So that's mainly what made us last as long. If not, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Shout so out to wife. So she understands, bro. How you? That's beautiful. Shout Facts. out to the wife. Yeah, you can shout her out, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to the wife. Yeah. I don't want to say a name. People don't try to follow me. <laughs> 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 you know who he talking to. You know who you are. High school scouts. That's it. You know what I mean? We don't need nobody trying to slide in her DM and all that. No. But that's what's up, so. my boy got you know. We know what he do. So it's pops, moms, wifey, everybody involved in their own way. Everybody respects the work. That's, that's oh, yeah. a great foundation. So, 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 as we know, your your father's your trainer, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Um, he's always been your trainer from the start. Since day one. Since day one. All right. And um, is there any other fighters here in underdog gym that either competing professionally, you know, doing amateur? Is anybody here you you know else fighters that we should be looking out for? There's a lot. We have a couple fighters here now. Um, there's actually one on the wall behind me. Um, his name is Matthew. He's fighting as an amateur. Um, we have Jojo, one of the coaches here too. He's fighting as an amateur. Um, so we got those two fighters right now in out of this gym. We just recently picked it up not too long ago, like five months ago. And eventually, hopefully down the line, we get more people. Yeah, you're going to get more people. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You're going to see that work that you and your pops is putting in. They're going to see the growth, the winning. Hell yeah. And they're going to want to win too. Exactly. From the underdog gym. Facts. Yeah. Basically, Facts. from the underdog gym and get these wins. <laughs> what else is we gonna do? That's it. You know Word. It's just the four corner team. About. Four corner mean, team. You know we know. Shout out to the BX. Cause we got a, we got a dog. I, I feel the energy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you can feel, you can feel the seriousness, the passion. Listen, and, don't, and, don't let the pretty boy look fool you. Yeah, yeah. He's a <laughs> savage in the ring. Yeah. So <laughs> what, what is your ethnicity? Um, Puerto Rican and Dominican. Okay. Oh, oh. he got Goya and Mango. But, but, Stop but, playing with him. But, but, let me tell you something. Uh -oh. So I, I remember I was, I, it was like, <laughs> yeah, it is what it's <laughs> It is, it is. Back to what we was talking about earlier, like the background of boxing. Yeah. So when I was like one and zero, I was with this management. I don't want to mention you oh, know, who it is. No but they was like, um, yo, represent Puerto Rico only. I was like, why? Because they got more of a fan base in boxing. And they backed their people more than back then when Dominicans weren't. Uh -huh. 
because that was at a time before COVID, before all that. So then I ended up fighting on Telemundo, representing them. I fought Telemundo in my second fight and my fourth fight. And then I got a contract with Top Rank. COVID happened, downhill. But me and Brad Goodman were speaking not too long ago, so that's behind the scenes. Um, and I'm trying to work something out with them right now. Or the zone, you know, but, you know. So yeah. I'm in the works with a lot of people. But so me being Puerto Rican, I only just represented that because mm -hmm. I, ever since then, that's been helping me to this day. Mm -hmm. But I'm both. So, okay. okay. Yeah, Making it, it clear. Yeah, Making it clear. And uh, what's, what's our homie that's about to fight? De Los Santos? De Los Santos. De Los Santos. Edwin. Listen, the Dominican that's, fighters is... Uh, yeah. They're getting titles right now. No. They're getting titles. So what's, what's crazy, we that's know right. Dominicans are relatively known for baseball, right? Which they phenomenal at. But now in boxing, they have a lot of fighters. And you're, you're kind of in that weight class where you could bump heads. We got Garcia, which he's a champion at 130, right? The Matrix, he, he fought Tank Tough. He beat uh, Cobra, right? You got De Los Santos fighting at 135. We got... Uh, Damn, it's, it's just... It's, it's, a bunch, it's, it's, a it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of them. But we know, like you mentioned, you're 23. Mm -hmm. You fight at junior junior lightweight, 130 or super feather, either or. Um, do you see yourself at this weight class long, or you could see yourself at lightweight very soon? You know, ironically, right? I think I can make 26. Mm. But healthy? That's, that's what I'm worried about. That's what it is. So what I, at this point, see, like I'm saying, like at this point in my career, you, I can't just like take a, a, a big step back and test that water and go forward. If I do it, it would have to be in a fight. You know what I'm saying? So we have to be cautious what we do. I do think I could make it, just you have to make adjustments. That's all. Okay. Um, and do, how long do I think until I move up? I don't know. I'm growing still. Yeah. I, like if you look at me, a picture from a year ago and now, I'm a lot bigger than what I was before. But now what I'm doing is I'm just working a lot, just maintain weight instead of going as high as I used to go. I used to go up to like 160. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Getting in that, bro. I get big. Now we could Thanks. tell you, you chisel. Yeah, you know, not, not no funny stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying from what I see. Word. You know, and you, you, you keep yourself in shape, which, which is important. Because, you know. So you're walking around like, like 160? Now, now, like if I was not training at all, yeah. yeah. Like around there. Because like when we talk I'll about I'll give you like this, a bracket. It's like it was around like 150 to like 160. Because when we talk about this on the podcast, a lot of people we ask like, what well, is walk around weight, yeah. walk around weight. So could you like break down walk around weight and then cut weight yeah. or fights? So like walk around weight is like, well, it's two different. I would say it's two different things. So walk around weight is one when you're not training and you're just eating and relaxing. Yeah. Being human, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, <laughs> you feel right, me? Right, yeah, no. Because people think that we can't do that, but it's yeah. called being human. Like have a life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> walk around ways, what you just, without training, without working out, without running, walking around like that. And there's also what I think is walk around ways, like when you're still in the gym, not training as hard as, as, as if you were going to a fight, but you're, you know, eating whatever you want at the same time. Yeah. So a little bit of both. Okay. There you go, people. You got, you got it from a professional himself. There you go. So, you know, you can go play this back. Your answers is there. Mm -hmm. So that helps out. So with that being said, like a lot of people have been saying throughout boxing, oh, you know, the father-son training duos, it don't look right, it don't work out right. Like what's your aspect on that, knowing that your father's been in your corner from day one? Because if we look out through the boxing history, you got Floyd Mayweather, Senior, I was just about to bring that up. Father. You got Shane Mosley. You got Devin, dad. Devin and his pops. You got yeah. David Benavidez and his father. T.O. and his pops. You got T.O. Yeah, and yeah, his yeah. father. The li Devin Haney and, and his father. The list is going on and on and on. So what's your insight on that for the people that are bringing that negative vibe to the father-son father -son duo of boxing and training? I disagree with what people say that it don't work. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him training me since day one. Definitely. Nor will any of those other fighters either that we just named. Um, there's a difference between a regular guy that would train me mm -hmm. and my pops. I'm going to give you a perfect example. I've done pads with everybody else, you know what I'm saying, every now and then. So if this guy is training me for a fight, my pops would be a guy that is like, all right, let's be more cautious because he knows me like how better than anybody else would ever know me, Correct. more or less. Absolutely. So 
you could tell me something and I'll go try to execute it, but my father would just tell me something else and that would work perfectly. Mm -hmm. So the chemistry is different. Right. That's what I would say. Like we know each other more than anybody else. And I'm sure he knows how to push your button. Exactly. Have those moments where he knows you slacking. He yeah. knows how to keep that. Yes, he knows when practice. something's wrong. He knows when I'm off on something. He knows when I'm not doing this or I'm doing that. He don't know. So I feel like that's where that comes from. The father-son does work. Business-wise, like if you speaking, let's say if I was father-son speaking to top rank or, or the zone, the reason why they wouldn't like it is because we're both hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can get to me, but then there's a guy behind me who's going to be like, no, you're not. Mm. That's what it is. They think because we're young, they can just jump over us. You know what I'm saying? So that's when the big guy behind us be like, yo, Nah. Yeah, like right. a security guard. Yeah, exactly. It's like a security guard. Yeah, so, yeah. Which is good to have because this business could be, it could spit you up, chew you up and spit you out. So, you know, to have your dad in the corner. Plus, you know, you guys get to make memories and celebrate. That's moments. another thing. Hell yeah, I agree with that. So, right. like you said, yeah. it's all Facts. about getting Facts. W, man. And I started boxing because of him. Like, I came watching him fight when I was an amateur. So if I'm going to leave, I'm going to do it with him, too. Like, regardless how it ends, it don't matter what happens back then. If I'm going to leave, I'm going to do it that way. I see your dad Facts. working out, yo. Your pops, your pops is cut, bro. Your pops is getting in, man. Don't sleep on pops, man. <laughs> Listen, don't but run up on pops. Not, but there's not like, it's not like there's any, like, when people say, like, that it don't work out, is maybe because we have bad times. We argue. We clash heads. Right. And, of course, but let me tell you something. When we go back home, though, that's another thing too with the father son and the, a co regular coach. When you go back home with a coach, you don't leave with him. Right. He don't call you. He has his own life. Mm -hmm. I live. I used to live with my father. So we go back home and we talk about talk boxing. About. Yo, you did this wrong this point. That never ends. Oh, so yeah, I was yeah, always yeah, forced yeah. up here to fix it. Yeah. Like I got in my head. I was like, Yo, I can't make that mistake. Right, let's go back because I'm gonna hear this dude all the ride home until I get home. Right. I open my door. It's and like then, that animosity. So that's what made me that. And then being. That's your dad. He's always going to... So now when I get in there, it's like, I don't care about... Like, there could be a thousand people out there, bro. I don't give a shit. Like, excuse my language. His I don't... It's Exactly. I care about, yo, you think I'm doing good? All right, no problem. Let's go. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That type of... If, you do, if I'm doing bad, all right, now I have to go do something different. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Beautiful. So, beautiful. I want to I ask you this now. We know that you all... Being a professional fighter, you're also a fan of the sport. Hell yeah. So we got a, a big uh, fight coming up in November. I we got get on that card, bro. Yeah, Benavidez. Oh, I wasn't talking about that. Oh, oh, the Shakur? Oh, Shakur. All right. All right, silly. So you know what? Since that fight is first, let's get to that one. We got Shakur de los Santos. I'm gonna give you three fights, and I want your opinion on all three. Shakur de los Santos, um, Boo Boo Benavidez, and Haney Pro Grace. Let's start with Shakur de los Santos. How you see that fight going? One of my favorite fighters is Shakur. Yeah. But nah, hold on, hold on. Easy is, is, is uh, I mean, I'm gonna tell you why though. Matter, I'm gonna tell you why. And you gotta respect it too. I never met Shakur personally either, so this is not no bias, none of that. I'm just a, like you saying, I'm a, I'm a fan. Shakur is just. He's a different type of dude. He's a different dude. Like, it, if you can't hit a guy, how are you gonna win? Yeah, there you he's go. a whole different. But but this guy De La Santos, he is. We gotta take this into to account. Shakur is moving up. Uh -huh. De La Santos is a 135 fighter, and, he and he's a puncher. And who vouches for that? Hitchens himself, and that's his. That's Shakur's, like they they brothers, bro. So if he said that, and this is gonna be a 50 50 fight, I believe it, bro, because you got to. It could to. be dangerous. It could be something. You and you, the see. thing I never is true. I never seen Shakur get hit. So. If he does, if he does, I doubt he's gonna. No, no, I right. doubt it, but if he does, how would it go? That, that's always my question yeah. with yeah. fighters, right? With a fatal shot. Exactly. Right. Right. So, I, but I feel like when people say people, anybody could get hurt, bro. Yeah, of course. Anybody so can get hurt. I don't care. This is boxing, bro. Stop it. Talking about yeah, it's just you, you could just take a punch a certain place better than another guy. Correct. But if you get hit right by that right guy, I don't care if he has power or not. It could be a guy who's coming to lose and get hit by him. He can clip you. So, so you like. Shakur. Shakur. Decision, I'm going with Shakur on that one. Stoppage. Decision. All right. Okay. I feel like he's going to stay away from De La Santos' power. Okay. There's going to be times that they're going to have to fight him. He's going to have to fight him off because De La Santos is not going to back up. No. But Shakur's going to do it. Uh, yeah. So I got Shakur. Unanimous. All right. So now Benavidez, Boo Boo. I'm going to go Benavidez, bro. All right. And Boo Boo, but I, I know Boo Boo because of Rozier. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Boo Boo's tough. Boo Boo's tough. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like Benavidez is just younger. More, he's younger, right? Yeah. He's got to be. He he's might, about yeah. he's not younger, though, right? We, we, we could look it up. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking, but he, I feel like his style is just 
That's why, sorry, but Canelo don't want to fight him either, though. Yeah, he, he, he's a tough dude, bro. So tough I wouldn't dude. say this, right? I just well, no, you know what? No, let me take that back before people start. Yeah. It's not that Canelo don't want to fight him. It's that it don't make sense. Yeah. That, let's put it like that. Because, mm -hmm. again, that's the background yeah, of boxing. Yeah. High yeah. risk, low reward type of thing. Yes. Yeah. Correct. All right. Why would I fight one of the toughest fights for the same money that I can make fighting this bum. Yeah. There you go. It's common sense. And like, I'm getting older, so yeah. I don't know. I, I, I can take this fight. Tell him to call me, Mo. Word. I fight Canelo. Word. <laughs> I've been saying that, bro. You can put me to sleep. I'm going to wake up a millionaire. Word. Yeah, word. You know? but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Medical is yeah, going to yeah. cost about that. Cost, hey, listen. <laughs> so, when you say Benavidez, right, and it's, that to me, it's a 50-50 fight. It I'm, is. I'm, Absolutely. I'm, I'm going with Boo Boo. And the only reason I'm going, right, because we know Benavides, I'm just ba based on styles. Benavides is a come forward pressure fighter and volume. He throws a lot of punches. But he also has an underrated jab, right? It's not like he's a sloppy fighter and he doesn't have no technique. He sets his, sets his punches up too. He does. But I think Boo Boo, right, he's a very skilled fighter. Absolutely. And he could punch. Hell he's yeah. almost the perfect right? style. And, and, yeah, so yeah. normally those fighters are nightmares for those pressure fighters. Now again. How long has, sorry to cut you off, yeah. oh wait. No, How no. long has Boo Boo been out the ring? Boo Boo's, he fought DeMar Nicholson, not, maybe nah, last fought, year. Not fought, uh, Hector Garcia and that was in DC, that was like. DeMar Nicholson, January. he beat him. January yeah, so it was, it was this, this year. This year, January. So he hasn't been out the ring that long. Um, I just feel that in order for um, Boo Boo, at times, he's going to have to go through fire. I always say Benavides is a... Because he's going to... You're going to have to punch with him at one time. The question is, can you take Correct. Benavides' output? That's, gonna, that's, that's the million-dollar question. Have. If it goes decision, I got Benavides because of his output. Yeah. 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 Anybody... Punches, and anybody by knockout, that's up in the air. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So... Definitely. The and question is to you is, how, what, how do you think it's going to end? I think, I honestly... I got... Somebody's I got... I like, I like Boo Boo by close decision. Right, but it, it could go either way. I could see either. I think if somebody's gonna get stopped, it's gonna be um, Boo Boo. If, if somebody's gonna get stopped in the fight, I don't see Boo Boo stopping him because I think Benavidez is gonna come in close to a heavyweight. He's a big dude. To me, he's kind of a weight bully. I think he needs to get out of super middleweight. He's a big dude. That's my opinion. Benavidez. Yeah, I think he should be at 175, but we'll see. So you like. Benavidez in that fight. I'll go right. with Shakur Benavidez. All right. So now Haney Pro Grace. Haney. <laughs> it's simple. It's simple. Bro. No question. His, no I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Haney's jab alone is gonna give Pro Grace problem. I think I'm gonna be honest with you. If Haney wants to, he can just box him and use his jab, and that's it. Yeah, that hundred percent. That's it. That's all he needs, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I, Haney's fast. He has great defense. Yes. He just can't fall asleep though. That's yeah, all that it is. Like, it. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is because, you know, this guy, he is moving up to 40 and he's fighting a puncher at 40. Yeah. But I feel like this style is what Devin's used to be in, bro. Yeah, he's made for – this style yeah. is perfect for him. All right. I got Devin by unanimous decision. Bro. Okay. That's what's up. Now, this is something that's also important. Being that you're a fighter, hmm. we see now that Showtime has closed their doors yeah, to bro. boxing, right? And Showtime also had Showbox, right? which will be something I could have seen you on, and right? That's, that's for up and coming, but we're not going to have that. So the doors are closing. Right now, we just have the zone, and we pretty have ESPN, right? Those two major things. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on that, and where do you see the future of boxing going? It's a big loss, I would say that, because um, more fighters had more platforms. So, for example, I know Top Rank has X amount of fighters they can sign. Correct. The zone has X amount of fighters they can sign. And then everybody else is going to have to fight for us, either their fighters or fight each other. And it's for nothing. Because um, the people that get the biggest person, gross purses, then the people that are signed. Or if I'm coming to fight their guy or as a B-side, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like in that part is going to be, I think that was a big um, loss in the sport. It's just like HBO, but then Showtime came and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, I also feel like there's a next step. It's like a book. It's just a page being turned. There's something else that's going to pop up. We don't know what it is, but there will be something else. I just heard something about Amazon Prime. Yeah, the yeah. rumor. There's rumor. So if Amazon Prime is coming in, that's another platform. Um, you know, things like that. But would you say, right, by Showtime closing its doors, 
that means that business wasn't doing good, right? You're not gonna you're not gonna close a store if you make your money. Exactly. Right? Unless you move into another location. So do you think this might put more pressure on fighters to fight each other, bigger fights? Because as we see, and I always have this fight, and y'all know, I got nothing against MMA, but they, their fans are starting, you know, to get that recognition, the sport. And not saying boxing is falling. Boxing will always be over MMA. But do you see them now getting leverage on boxing as far as viewership goes? Yo, this whole week I've been hearing about MMA. Yeah. This entire week. So, yes, I do agree with that. I don't think it's ever going to be, I hope it wouldn't be anything as, no offense to any yeah. MMA fan. No, no, no. Yeah. Me but I hope it doesn't get any bigger than boxing because, you know, boxing is a sport that we love. And it's, yeah. I feel like MMA fighters don't get paid enough to be getting knee to the face, definitely. bro. It's crazy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, I wouldn't even do that sport, I'm going to be honest with <laughs> you. But um, I feel like we just got to be patient. Something's going to come. I don't know what. We got the zone. Like I said, everything, same thing with my career. Same thing with you and your life and you and your life. You know what I'm saying? We all evolve and there's always a next chapter. Mm -hmm. This could be wrong. Tomorrow's another day, bro. So, sure. that's, that's what's that. up. That's what's up. Well, nah. I don't all know. right. So, before we wrap it up, um, I, I forgot to ask you. I want you to describe your fighting style. Are you, you consider yourself a boxer puncher? You could go in there, bro. You could box. Just, just let, let us know, you know, when you get in there, your style of fighting. I feel like I don't have a style. I feel like, mm, um, like, like I've like I said, training with my father as an amateur and coming up and sparring so many different guys, I feel like I do what I need to do to win. Mm -hmm. So if I have to bang, if I'm losing and I have to bang, I will. Mm. If I have great defense, that's one thing that I feel like I'm, that's one of my things. Um, I can fight in the pocket, out the pocket. I can box. I got great feet. Mm. I got great head movement. Um, I can do it all. I'm fast. You guys can see yeah, I'm yeah, explosive. Yeah. Um, it's just what guy you put in front of me and what I need to do to win. I do whatever it takes to win, bro. I don't care if I have to box you or if I got to be in there with you, whatever. I figure it out. That's fine. So, so I, I don't... Get stuck with Yeah, one. exactly. So if you give me a boxer, if you give me a boxer, I'm going to come right to him. Yeah, you're not a one-trick pony. Yeah, yeah. So I could come with something you got, different. You got a so. bunch of tools on Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, we, we That's why I feel like training with specific fit. trainers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back to that training thing, I feel like training with specific trainers, that's what you learn. Like, mm -hmm. if this trainer's a... Like, say, for example, you go with, I don't know. A guy, I can't even, Say I don't Freddie want to, Roach. yeah, Freddie Roach, he, if you notice, when you go train with Freddie Roach, he gives that a punch output like yeah. Manny Pacquiao, it would never change. Mm -hmm. So you'll be a guy that throws punches in as a pressure fighter or a guy who's standing there just throw volume. Mm -hmm. Or as, but if you're working for, like say, your pops, he wants to see you do the best. Mm -hmm. Devin Haney, for example, Teal, for example, me, for example, we, we're fighters that can do different things. So I feel like that's a that's a father son thing. Like we're gonna, I'm gonna train my son to be able to withstand anything, Correct. type of mindset. You know what I'm saying? If a guy comes for, because they've been there every spawn session, we switch coaches every time when you're a regular fighter. All right. So mm -hmm. they see if I can't handle guy that put pressure. So let's get the same guy to put more pressure, mm -hmm. and we are gonna fix it. Perfect. All right. Um, I'm Mo. Sorry. Listen, I'm, I'm good. I'm ready for his next fight. Man. Yeah. All right. So. Before fuck on again, just let everyone know. Let me get. Just let everybody know where we at. Where can they come again to the gym? The address, and um, you know where people could find you on social media. First off, thank you guys. Thank Four Corners. Uh, thank you I appreciate you guys for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. But, you know, appreciate you guys. Um, we're at three four four eight East Tremont Avenue at Underdog Boxing and Fitness Club. Um, we have classes, or if you just want to come and train and learn boxing, fitness, whatever it is, we provide it all. Um, my name's Ofacio Falcon Jr. You can find me that on, like that on all platforms. It's O F A C I O Falcon, like the bird, Jr. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, facts. Flying high, you heard? Yes, sir. Yes, you go. So there you go. Four, four corners boxing, yes, underground gym, underdog underdog. gym. Underdog. From the underground. Falcon. And thanks again. Yeah, thanks for letting us in, man. We appreciate you. This is going to be, listen, this is going to be first of many interviews, bro. Because one, one, one day you're you going to hold, hold that belt, bro. We're we going to see a picture up here, bro. You, you, you got the work ethic. You got the mentality. And stay hungry, bro. No matter how many plates they give you, keep eating. Got to stay hungry. There you go, bro. We out. Folk